Hey guys, welcome back to yet another 3D Game Maker Studio tutorial. I'm sorry that it has been so long since I last uploaded a video, but I'll be back with more frequent videos from now on. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at 3D platforming. This is going to be a rather short tutorial as there aren't many things to explain, but be sure to tell me what kind of tutorial you would like to see in the future. Uh, back to this one, this is going to be a short tutorial explaining 3D gravity, platforms, jumping, etc. And I will see you in GameMaker Studio. Hey guys, welcome back to GameMaker Studio. Here we are with the project FPS Platforming. Let's get started. Let's take a quick glance at the sprites that I've created. The simple one sprite player is right here. And I have three different floor sprites. Each represent a different Z value that we'll get to later on. So, uh, backgrounds aren't very interesting. There's only this the one texture that I've made. Uh, I didn't make it, I'm sorry. It's from Google Images. You just uh, look it up. Or use this one, of course. My mouse cursor, cursor seems to have disappeared. There it is. I have two scripts right here. d enabled texture filtering. These aren't very interesting either. They just make sure that we can do 3D mip mapping, which makes the game just look just a tad nicer. I really like it. Let's go to the more interesting stuff. Object player. Make sure you don't see the mouse cursor in the game. It's very unprofessional. And... I am speaking of experience right here. Let's go to the first script that I've written here. Make sure that this one is above d start like I've said in almost all my tutorials so far. d start, d set hidden. I've commented on all of it so you will, can just simply read what it does and what it means. So now we can go on to the next part. Step event falling is a little bit more interesting. C speed is going up by the Z gravity, which you can uh, adjust and create event, which is the amount of gravity. It's similar to the gravity instant, or what is it called? A variable in Game Maker itself. And of course, when you press escape, it closes the game. When we collide with platforms, that's where this is where it gets kind of interesting. So when you're lower than the uh, Z value of this object, you will collide with it. Like, you won't walk to over it, but you will collide with it like it is a, as if it is a wall, which is very cool. And, uh, well, that's basically it. Well, <laughs> let's go here. Do you reset projection? Let's have a quick look at that. Yeah. The next one, spacebar is jumping. It's very, it's very difficult at all. And I have a few floors here. This is floor Z is zero, which means that this one is a ground floor. This is just basically the ground. This one, I forgot to change that, I'm sorry. 64, that's what it's supposed to be, 64. And we'll have a quick look here as well. Uh, you can just, uh, you can ignore this if you don't want shadows. You can just add this to your game, and there won't be any shadows. But I like it. It's uh, an easy way of showing how high you are up up on an, uh, an object like this. And this one's basically 128 and I forgot to change this one too. I've been sloppy. I'm very sorry. And parent floor doesn't do anything. Well, rooms. This is the test room. Very simple as well. And yeah, that was the tutorial. That was all of it. Well, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> that was it. So if there's any questions you have, you can of course ask them in the comments or just send me a private message on YouTube. And I'll uh, see you guys later on. Have a good day.